Hey there, youngsters. I'm sure you're trying to understand what all the hubbub is that's going on around you. I know your parents keep talking to doctors about you and throwing around a bunch of big words that you don't understand. Maybe you notice what they're worried about. Maybe you don't yet, but pretty soon you will. So I hope I can take these next few minutes and explain things in a way that makes it a little bit easier for you to understand. So mom and dad, if you can please excuse us, uh, I have a bit of a story to tell. So this might be a little over your head, so you might want to leave the room and go take care of some grown up stuff. All right, thanks. All right guys, is mom and dad gone yet? So all right, let's get down to some business here. Now, you've probably heard your parents talking about what's called Tourette Syndrome. I know it's somewhat of a big word that you don't understand, so I'm going to break it down a little bit for you. Do you like dinosaurs? My kids do. Yeah, I'm a dad, so I've got kids. You know, Actually, my kids are older than you, but they were your age once, so I understand a little bit about being your age. Heck, I was even that age once. Anyway, getting back to it. Um, you know, my kids, they love dinosaurs, and I was fascinated by them. I still am. They're pretty neat creatures. My favorite one, to many, he, he seemed very angry and dangerous, but he's actually just a little bit misunderstood. T-Rex, we'll call him Terry for short. Now, he had a problem that made him different from most of the other dinosaurs. His skin was always very dry and itchy, but he had really short arms, and he couldn't reach the spots that itched. You know, I mean, if your arms are up here by your chest, you can't reach your neck or your head or anything like that. That was a problem for him. So to get rid of that itch, uh, he would do all sorts of strange movements, and we'll call those ticks. That's what you'll hear a lot of is that word, ticks. Sometimes these movements would make him appear clumsy. He'd knock over trees or bump into other dinosaurs. Sometimes he would even have an itch in his mouth, and so he would have, have to bite his massive teeth down together, you know, chomp. Or he would have an itch in his throat, and to get rid of that, he'd have to roar really loud to be able to get rid of it. <laughs> this frightened everyone. Uh, because they thought he was mad all the time. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, he would even bite others, and so that would just lead to them thinking even more that he was angry. With all this going on, a lot of times Terry felt that he was alone because others were afraid to play with him. He was different, so others would hide from him in fear, and a lot of times they'd even make jokes about him behind his back. And he really didn't like that. It really made him sad. Terry did have some friends who would hang around with him, and these guys were also different. And they were a couple of velociraptors named Ozzy and Andy. These three often hung out together because they, they found that they worked well together. Although the closer they were to each other, the further away the, the others would get. And the three made it even more difficult for others to understand when they were together. Now, Ozzy was very particular about things but not everything, and this completely confused everyone else. Sometimes Ozzy would keep his home really neat and organized, and other times he'd collect the strangest things just because they might be shiny or he might have a use for them later. But he would keep these things in a specific place, and if someone changed anything, Ozzy would get very upset. When Terry saw Ozzy getting upset, he would start to itch more which caused him to also make more weird movements or ticks. Sometimes it was just too much for him and the ticks weren't enough. So he'd get mad and throw things or roar uncontrollably. Now, he didn't want to do this, but he just didn't know what else he could do. He would even get scared sometimes and just sit somewhere with Ozzy until he could calm down. If anyone came around to help, he didn't like that. He'd snap at them. And he and Ozzy just, they needed a break from everyone. So he just, they needed some time to sit alone and that way they could get things back in order. Now Andy was another odd friend. He was all over the place. And a lot of times 
uh, he couldn't focus on anything and he would just be off in la la land you know at least he would be able to focus on what other, others wanted him to and sometimes andy would just stare off into space and look at the trees daydream or he would see a smaller animal running around and take off after it squirrel <laughs> he, he, he would leave whatever he was doing to go after something else that caught his attention the other dinosaurs they'd all laugh at andy because they thought he was weird too they couldn't keep up with his sudden changes or him spacing off when they were trying to play games so he found, found friends in terry and ozzy and they'd traveled around together most of the time now terry ozzy and andy are like tourette's ocd and adhd they usually travel together but sometimes they can get separated. Each one causes his own problems in the forest, just like Tourette's, or we'll call it T-Rex, T-Rex syndrome. How's that sound? And then there's the OCD and ADHD. Uh, you know, all these things cause their own different issues inside a person's brain. And when they're together, they're harder to control and they make each other a lot stronger. But that's what your mom and dad are trying to do with the doctor's help. They're figuring out which one, or if all of them, are roaming around in your brain and how to calm them down. So this is probably enough for you to think about right now. I'll keep coming back with more stories of Terry, Ozzy, and Andy. They Believe me, they have plenty of adventures and other friends that make life interesting. And so we'll get into all that later on. So for right now, go tell your mom and dad that you're done for now and give them a big hug. Tell them you love them and thanks for doing all they can to help calm your dinosaurs. Have a good day.